Hi, I'm Sonny Young, and this is Let's Play Politics, where we take a look at the new developments in the worlds of politics and football. From the Voice of America studio in Washington. Many of us have more than one passion. When he is not conducting a game for Juventus Turin, Italian football star Andrea Pirlo is making wine. The Italian midfield maestro wants to translate his passion into a business, but not quite yet. For now, I only think about playing for the next few years. President Obama is passionate about golf. His trips to the golf course require a lot of security, which costs money. And these days in Washington, money, or better yet, the lack of it, is causing contention. Because of the spending cuts, the Secret Service was forced to scrap more than $84 million from its budget. Consequently, White House public tours were canceled until the end of September, and that made many Republicans angry. They argue that reopening the White House to the public is a better use of the government's money than providing security for the president's golf outings. Representative Louie Gohmert from Texas has submitted legislation to prevent the government from financing President Obama's golf trips until the White House tours resume. This is just one of the many controversies stemming from the spending cuts. Perhaps American politicians should learn to work together, as these players did when a Martin invaded the pitch during a Swiss Super League match. Working together, players from both teams eventually caught the Martin and were able to resume play. Perhaps there is a lesson there for politicians in America and elsewhere. And that's all for today. See you next time for another edition of Let's Play Politics. <laughs>